Greetings and salutations, it's Biggie JDM and we are back with another instalment of our GC8 track car build. So if you remember in the last episode, we actually got the new knock sensor fitted to the car, which brought the car back to life, out of limp mode and we were able to drive it as intended. In this episode, it's all about parts, parts, parts. We win a dump valve off eBay and fit it to the car. And then we go travelling, finding more parts. We get some coilovers. And whilst on the hunt for a new exhaust system, we run into some Subaru friends. Stay with us through this saga. It is going to be fantastic. <laughs> But before we get into today's video, we always like to give a shout out to the top comments from the last video. This week's shout out goes to Rafa Sabicat and his whole family who are big supporters of Biggie's JDM and is always giving encouraging comments not just on YouTube but on Instagram as well. Big shout out to you Raf and thank you for supporting. Right, let's get on with this show. Hey fans and followers, it's Biggie JDM here, back with another video. And the sun is out, sun is in full force. Oh, it's, it's forecast sunny days for the rest of the week. Come on, let's get some cars done. I need to get garden done now, can't neglect it. But after the garden, back on the cars. So, okay, so in the last video, if you remember, I brought a Subaru, they're one of the cheapest Subarus on the internet. And literally, I brought it broken, I know it needs work, okay? So, we realised the knock sensor needed replacing. So if you remember in the last video, I replaced the knock sensor and the card came to life. Now, looking through the paperwork, it's had nearly a £700 Pro Drive kit fitted to it. So that means the exhaust, ECU, is all changed. So it's probably running about 260, something around that. Around that, I know it needs a service, etc. So in today's video, on eBay, I won a version six dump valve, Bailey dump valve for 35 pounds and now we're going to fit that dump valve take it on a bit of a spin let's go it's going to be fun as always biggie jdm you know where it is peace right so this is the dump valve and then we're going to get it fitted on open it up So, as you know, like the new age ones are a bit longer length to the version 6, version 5 ones, but this is it. Bailey dump valve. Um, so, while I normally get a, a dump valve, I normally just push it in just to see if it's all good. And it's alright, it's a bit sticky. Maybe it just needs a bit, a bit of grease, but it should be okay. It should be okay. I don't know how long it's been sat on someone's shelf. So let's get this fitted. It should be quite fun. Um, 12 mil. Yeah, 12 mil spanner. Let's go from there. So, um, we started it up, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a run, I've only got like five minutes before I start work, cool. Let's get this started up, let's, let's go, let's see how it runs. I might have to take it around the block because it's not going to boost the standing and me revving the engine. It's going to really go around the block so it gets up to pressure. I do, however, need to order a plate to go behind here. Once I order a plate to go behind here, it should conceal the boost a lot better than it is. And yeah. Yeah, let's see how it goes, let's see how it goes. So it's a bit farty, but it's all right, like literally. Um, yeah, let's let's give it a bit of a pull. Yeah, it does work, you can hear it. And it seems like it's holding the pressure in. It's just, um, probably just needs a bit working in. That's it really, cool. So. 
Today's video, as we know, we fitted the dump valve, got the dump valve fitted in the car, sounds okay. We're getting this GC8 ready for the track. We're not spending loads, we're not gonna make it fancy, just wanna make it track ready. A little bit faster, lower to the ground. So first thing in this video, we're gonna go get some coilovers. I went on eBay, it wasn't a price, it was bidding, gave them a very cheap price. Let's go and get these coilovers, these BCs. I love BCs. I'm not their spokesperson for anything, but I just prefer BCs to everything else. Teens are great, but I like BCs better. So we're gonna get these BCs. We're gonna get some exhaust bits, and then we're gonna get a sense section and a downpipe. The pro drive, I wanna keep the pro drive back box as it is, because on the track, I don't want it too loud. And I know there's some restrictions when you are on the track. So let's just keep the pro drive exhaust as it is. They need to be louder, just need a bit more power. So downpipe, center section, lowered, hopefully some unequal headers, up pipe but the latter first. Let's go. So, um, it's such a beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful day. So we're driving to Dudley at the moment just to get those coilovers. As you can see, it's absolute beautiful day. Beautiful day. So yeah, I'm gonna grab them and I'll let you know when I've got them. Later. Right, so about 40 minutes away from our destination. And um, yeah, this drove so well on the motorway. I think because the ECU is still trying to relearn everything, it took a bit of like uh, about 10 15 minutes of driving, a bit of hesitation. But after that, it, it, it was cool, just glides. You know, I think it's cross touch wood, <laughs> hopefully. I mean, two minds, I mean, two minds. People say, like, you know. Because of the car, of, you know, I should just leave it as it is and just sell it. But I'm not trading. I'm not trying to trade. I just want to keep it and enjoy a track car, a cheap track car. Other than that, you're just chasing a rabbit all the time. Oh, that's that's too good to keep. That's too good to keep. Let's sell it. Oh, that's too good to keep. Let's sell it. No, just want to keep it and enjoy myself for a change. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Right, you nearly there, let's go. Hey people, Bigger Jenny, I'm here. So yeah, we finally, we got these coilovers then. Woo! Got a set of BCs. Cheap. That's why we like it. Now the exhaust and then brakes, let's go. So as we know, we're trying to collate the exhaust system for the GCA because it's all standard at the moment. Like from the, the cat, right down to the back box, everything's standard. Other than it's got a pro drive kit on it. So even though it's quicker, we still need a bit more power, a bit more response. So the aim is, is to get some decatted headers, up pipe, decat down pipe. And what we're trying to do today, right now, is we're going to collect the decat down pipe, all in Nottingham. Once we do that, we need to source uh, mid pipe, so we need to source a centre section 2.5 because this one is a bell mouth, it goes down from 3 inches to 2.5 and the back box is 2.5 and I don't really want to get rid of the back box I still want to keep the original, like keep the car kind of original so to speak not go too OTT on it but I like quite like the Pro Drive back box and as we know if we're going on the track we need it we don't want anything too loud like a Blitz nurse spec or anything like that so yeah we're going, we're driving, we'll be out five minutes from the destination, so yeah, we'll see you in a second. Right, so obviously I've gone to buy this cat off Facebook Marketplace, saw these classics on the drive, and I thought it was this ass. Totally the wrong ass, but you know, while we're here, may as well make the most of it. And I'm with Matt, can you tell me a bit about your classic, Matt? My classic, UK <laughs> 2000, mate. So an RA rep, yeah. uh, pushing about 280 brake. Yeah. Uh, Pro Drive ECU, uh, full three inch exhaust, wow. just got that fitted. Wow. New rotor grids. Uh, it's nice. A few uh, little bits here and there. Let's do a yeah. little three, 360, can we just look, go yeah, a little walk around here? Let's have a look. So you've got to bunny open. Let's have a look. Yeah, oh, look at open. the dowels inside, mate. This is beautiful. Oh, you've got STI seats, same as me. Yeah, and STI pedals. Yeah, and one. pedals as well. Wow, Mermaid Gear knob. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So what modifications have we got? Oh, look at that SDI cooler for a start. 
Oh, the little HPS socks over the um, brake and clutch reservoir. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, like, what modifications have we got on this, then, mate? Uh, like I said, I've got the uh, ProDrive ECU, yeah. uh, DCAT, full 3 inch exhaust, uh, HKS um, in, oh, mushroom filter. Yeah. Uh, trying to figure that out. Uh, obviously, STI strut brace, which is not on it at the minute. Yeah. STI top man. Wow. Uh, it does have Apexi coilovers as well, yeah. but they're not on it yet. Right. Need refurbing. So just standard suspension at the moment then? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much just running standard at the minute. Mm -hmm. Not much. To, not, nothing to scream about, if you know what I mean. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's all right. I mean, what made you go for the classic like sort of thing? I mean, a lot of people go for the blobs, the yeah, hawks, yeah, 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 yeah. hatches. Why the classic? Because it's one of my dream cars, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> definitely. Most definitely, most definitely. So where are you taking it next? Like, What's the next modification for it? Next modification. Well, I've oh, already just done it, put new rotor grids on <laughs> yes, it. Yes, <laughs> grids. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Not I mean, even one. the wheels you took off them are beautiful because I've got <laughs> literally standard WRX ones, yeah, yeah, version yeah. sevens on mine, but I'm going to put my um, OZ Ultra Allegra's on my classic, on on yeah. Car as well. yeah, on my, my second classic. This is beautiful. I mean, you don't really see many of them on in red, like. No, it's quite a rare colour, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, I recently just painted all my um, my side skirts. Yeah. Because I, I work in a body shop. Really. Ready for retail. <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if there's, there's a reason for this stuff, isn't there? There's always a reason for this stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So wow, cool. So, what's your favourite aspect of the car? Just essentially, it's just it's just the colour really, that's what yeah. drew my attention. Yeah. Because like, it's like the yellow ones, isn't yeah. it? They're quite rare, aren't they? And yeah. obviously the red ones are quite rare. Wow, wow. <laughs> so how long have you had it for? Ooh, about, about two years now. Two years. Yeah, two years. Cool. <laughs> this is awesome. Matt, thank you very much for this review. It's, it's right, totally mate. random, totally random. Do you have an Instagram or does a car have an Instagram uh, where people can Scooby, follow you? Scooby Matt. Scooby Matt. Scooby Matt on Instagram. Yeah? Yeah. We're definitely going to add Scooby Matt on Instagram. Such a nice guy. <laughs> Literally doesn't know me. I've just rocked up to the wrong ass. It's all the Scooby. Let's do a review of the car. Come on, we know how we do on Biggie JDN channel. Right, thank you very much, Matt. Thank you very right, much. Mate. Thank you very much for the review. And that's your lot. Right, let's go and get this decat. So we're with Jake as well, and this we we, we have to do a review on Jake's on Jake's car as well. Look at this beautiful is it, v version three, is it? Version two. Version two. Oh my lord, clean, absolutely clean. Moretti lights. Well, I'm not going to say too much about it. I'm going to tell you all about it, right? Right. So this is my '95 WRX. Yeah. It's been off the road for about eight years. Yeah. Um, it was my dad since I was two, so 2003. Really? Yeah. That is absolute. That is a testament. That is. So it hasn't got many owners then, no? No, it, it come over, and obviously the guy who imported it over was the first owner, and then it was my dad. Wow. So. She wow. In, obviously stayed at the two. We've left left it in my dad's name because I work with my dad. Yeah. 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 So of course. she's still down on two owners after. I've for many years, 28 years. Awesome. Being alive. So looking at the rear um, window wiper, it's an import, isn't it? Yeah, WX right. import. WX, has it got TDA5? Yeah, is it? TDA5. Oh. Um, it's got the front mat intercooler, remapped from Scuba Clinic. She's running 335 brake. Wow, what ECU you running? Um, it's a Alcatec ECU. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's a bit outdated now, but she still goes. It, mate, whatever works, mate. If it's not broken, don't fix it. That's it. Yeah. Forged dump valve on it. Oh, let's have a look. The interior footwells and everything. I've got some catching up to do. <laughs> these, ki these kids are like... <laughs> got like oh, look at that engine bay. Come on, yeah, look at this. So the oversized pipe cross air filter, obviously the same again, the HKS socks, the same as Matt. The, this cheaper strut brace, but it still does the same. Does it matter? Strut brace is a strut brace, mate. That's it. Um, BC racing coilovers, yeah. fully adjustable front and rears. Yeah. Obviously the full front mat kit, the yeah. forged jump valve. I usually have that span round so it's sitting at the bonnet scoop. Yeah. But wow. I was just just been chasing a boosting issue with right. over boosting since I put the new manifold on. Whereas I fixed that now, so that can be spun back round. What was the issue? Um, it basically when 
it was maps. It had a um, equal length manifold on it, but yes. it had a crack. Right. So now I've put the new one on it. Yeah. It was obviously getting better flow, so it was sending it into overboost. So uh, I had to put a different restrictor pill in it. So the the headers, is it? Yeah, the headers. Right. Okay. Right. So fair it's enough. Running about 1.3 bar at the moment. Wow. But like I said, it flies. Um, it's got a TSL full system to the turbo, but it's three inch downpipe onto a 2.5 um, cap back. Right. Well, I say cap back, it's full D cap. Yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, oh, the BBS uh, reps. Yeah. yeah. I will, well, I'm just chasing after his OZ race. Yeah, get them, I'm putting them on mine. <laughs> Got the um, Lotus Elise brake calipers with the bigger brake discs for Yikes. the months. Obviously, standard on the back at the moment. Yeah. Fully poly bushed in the rear. Yeah. Um, got the STI rear spats. I'm yeah. chasing for the front ones. Yeah. Um, Gosh. Literally, literally. This is a gem. I mean, look at the bodywork. I mean, how have you kept it in such good nick? Like, what's the secret? So, we've done all the seals ourselves. Yeah welded all of them in obviously there's no arches to rock yeah it's quite funny because we're i think we're the only people to actually cut good arches off a of scooby to put an overarch kit on rather than <laughs> sticking them over rusty arches yep <laughs> um, but yeah full front end's been resprayed yeah obviously from being sat in the garden the lack yeah. start to go there's a few yeah. little signs like on the roof and the scoop but yeah coming into summer now it's yeah. going to get it all done Wow, this is, I mean, look at that exhaust. What exhaust is that? Yeah, that's the TSL performance one. I wish I brought my class, I came in, I came in Mrs. Uke. And look at these classics, like, <laughs> I came in Mrs. Uke. And look at those, like, so what's your favorite aspect of the car, dude? It's, I think the best aspect really was, it yeah. was just from my dad. Yeah. I mean, obviously I yeah. bought it off him. There was no like sort of, oh, here you go sort of thing. I worked for the money, but yeah. to keep it in the family. Obviously got a little yeah. one on the way. So once I'm old enough, and we're going to my next next one down and keep it in, into the family. I love that. I absolutely love that. I love that story. I absolutely love it, you know. Oh, we're gonna... <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're rude not to start it up, eh? Hey? Look yeah. at that purr. She's got the spark, um, Sparko gear knob and pedal set as well. I think that's yeah. something like 170 quid for the kit back then when Jeez. we got that. And after the SCI back lights. Yeah. Just for that sort of clear look. Yeah. But yeah, the ne next thing would be another, well, another set of wheels. The 18s are yeah. nice, they sit nice, but they ride a bit rough. Yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't see these days for 80s, but now you've said it, I can see like the 18s now. Yeah. yeah. 8.5J in the front, 9.5J on the rear, but Just two, <laughs> two, two fives all round, so I'm not really throwing anything on. <laughs> just as we like, like it on my 350Z, yeah. it's just the same, same spec, my, oh my gosh, like. Yeah. H so HKS um, boost gauge. Yes. And then I've got so the Lamco gauges in the middle. Oh, wow. Obviously, the Lamco gauges are just getting rarer and rarer yeah. at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. They're out of an RA. I had the... No. Do I have these things in my RA? I don't know. Obviously, it's a bit messy inside at the moment. Yeah, it's just but... a day that she gets used every day yeah. to get to work and back. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. What, so what's your next step for it? What, what, what's the next step? Where are you going with it next? Oh, well, like I said, the wheels have definitely got to go. Yes. I want something a bit more jab. Yeah. But once my partner's scoop is done, it's going away for a few years. Hopefully coming out about 600 brake. Wow. Like I said, she's, wow. she's not quite there at the moment. 350 yeah. is good enough. But, yeah. Uh, there's always room for improvement on the power. Yeah. Oh, wow, mate. This is absolutely awesome. Where can people find if you've got Instagram or. Um, so we actually own a group on Facebook called Subaru Maniacs. Right. We've got about 650 members at the moment. Yeah. And we're only a fresh group. But, yeah. um, I haven't really got Instagram and that sort of stuff. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna add you literally as soon as I get home. Literally. Yeah. I just literally come in the most tamest car that I own. <laughs> like, I thought, you know, I've been driving a Scooby all day and I thought, oh gosh. I want something a little bit. Yeah, more thank you it. very much, no mate. Worries. Thank you, you very much. Or? Yeah, yeah, go on, go on. Let, let's have some revs. as we like it boxer engine for the win thank you very much my no brother thank you very nice much one. and i'll see you again thank oh, you yeah, of course, mate.
Right, that's it. Like, come on, like, let's make the most of this trip. Like, let's go. Thank you very much to the guys. Right, I'll see you in a sec. I'll Look at this as well. I know it's a bit dark, but Matt's just sorted me out with a centre section. Well, I was saying I need a centre section. Gosh. Look at this. <laughs> yes. Winning. <laughs> Let's see Kyle just sort me out with some money quite this week. What is the likelihood of this? Your, what's the likelihood of this? Like, the lads have just got all the parts that I need for my classic. It's just crazy. Sound as a pound. Sound as a pound. Thank you very much, mate. Wow. There we go then. Hopefully once this is on the car. Add, add a bit more poke. Hopefully a burble. A yeah. proper burble. A yeah, proper yeah, burble. Proper yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take, take us around Cadwell. <laughs> yeah. Wow, there we go. Right people, so today we are back at ML Tires and we are getting the wheels changed over. Yeah. We're getting the OZs. and the old WRXs taken off. I just realised that we have to switch all the tyres around because the tyres, what I originally wanted to do was keep those tyres on the car because they're all right, but swap the back tyres, but the tyres were a different size on the back, so I'm going to have to swap all the tyres around, put the tyres that are actually came with the car on the OZs because they're better and they're a different size to what's on the OZs. And to be fair, the tyres on the OZs are wrecked. So, yeah. These guys are sorting me out again. Okay. Let's go. There we have it. Looking fresh. Yes, OZs. That's what we want. OZs. OZs. That's exactly what we need. Oh. Nice. Need to order one. Need to order one centre cap. That was expensive. That one, but it's worth it. Right, that's it. We've got the OZs on. Got the OZs on. Right, back to work. Back to work. In the next video, we treat the car to a full, well-deserved service. We don't just do oil and oil filter. We do oil, oil filter, fuel filter, uprated plugs on the car. Stay with us. Always Biggie GDM. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. If you can't be good, be careful. Biggie said, big up yourself. Drive safe on the road. Tell somebody that you love them before you go to bed. See you in the next episode.